In today's lesson, I'll show you how the accusative case works, but before we start, I'd like to explain some basic grammatical terms that will help you understand better when this case is applied. The word order in a typical German sentence is subject, verb, object. The subject performs the action, the verb is the action, and the object is affected by the action. Let's take a look at this example. Der Mann parkt das Auto. The man parks the car. In this example, der Mann performs the action, parked is the action, and das Auto is affected by the action. And this object will be affected by the accusative case. But what does the accusative case actually do? The accusative case changes the masculine definite and indefinite articles. In a previous lesson, we learned that there are three articles. Der, masculine, die, feminine, and das, neuter. Now let's see how this changes in accusative. You see that der became den. Der Mann now is den Mann. The feminine and the neuter articles do not change. Now how does this look in some examples? Ich sehe den Mann. I see the man. Ich sehe den Mann. Ich sehe die Frau. I see the woman. Ich sehe die Frau. Ich sehe das Kind. I see the child. Ich sehe das Kind. And you can see that the feminine and the neuter articles are not affected. Only the masculine article changes from der to den. And now let's have a look at the indefinite article. In the nominative case, that's the default case. Ein, masculine. Eine, feminine. And ein, neuter. And here is the accusative case. Einen is the masculine form. Eine, feminine. And ein, neuter. So again, feminine and neuter do not change. Only the masculine indefinite article is affected. Einen Mann. Ich sehe einen Mann. I see a man. Ich sehe einen Mann. Ich sehe eine Frau. I see a woman. Ich sehe eine Frau. Ich sehe ein Kind. I see a child. Ich sehe ein Kind. And here are some verbs that use accusative. Sehen, to see. Lesen, to read. Hören, to hear. Machen, to make or to do. Parken, to park, finden, find, haben, to have, and also the expression es gibt, there is. So after all these verbs, you will use the accusative case. Now, in case you have a sentence with nicht, then the negation word nicht is sent to the end of the sentence. Ich sehe den Mann nicht. I don't see the man. Or in the literal translation, I see the man not. Ich sehe den Mann nicht. Ich sehe die Frau nicht. I don't see the woman. Ich sehe die Frau nicht. Ich sehe das Kind nicht. I don't see the child. Ich sehe das Kind nicht. And, in addition, the negation word kein, that is used to negate nouns, and the possessive pronouns also receive the masculine accusative ending en, en. Wir haben keinen Hund. We don't have a dog, or in a literal translation, we have no dog. Wir haben keinen Hund. Ich lese keinen Kriminalroman. 
I don't read a crime novel. Ich lese keinen Kriminalroman. Siehst du meinen Sohn? Do you see my son? Siehst du meinen Sohn? Sie findet ihren Schlüssel nicht. She doesn't find her key. Sie findet ihren Schlüssel nicht. Alright, so far about the accusative case. Up next we'll take a closer look at one of the most important verbs in German, haben.